I wanted to get you guys up today on my house project. It's been going really good lately. Um, it's pretty much left just me to finish it now. Um, I had contractors help me out with a lot of stuff, but what I have left, I'm going to do myself, uh, which was always the plan. I just want to get you guys caught up so I can make videos about what I'm doing now. Because uh, I have a lot of footage of everything I did over the summer, but I didn't have time to edit it, and I don't feel like editing it right now. <laughs> But I do feel like making videos about what I'm doing right now because it's kind of some more interesting stuff. Well, not, I mean, I really like all the excavator videos um, and stuff like that too. But So I just wanted to go through everything that I've done so far in the house and um, give you a little bit of what I've, we've done. Uh, and make videos about all of these at a later date because I have all the footage. So obviously it started out with the foundation I already made a video about the skirt drain that um, was when the um, mason had just started uh, he obviously laid the blocks uh, I think it was eight rows just a crawl space uh, and that was good he did a good job came out really nice the top two rows are split blocks um, so it just looks better than painting or whatever with regular blocks at the top uh, he didn't get started until June, I want to say, very early June. Uh, he was supposed to start, I believe, in the early part of May. So, but that would be a growing theme because every contractor was supposed to start that, and they didn't start when they were supposed to. So, but I guess I learned that that's the way that goes. Well, the foundation's done and filled in. It looks really good. Got a drain in here. This will be deck boards across this the drain for a little bit of water and be a roof above it. So, got caps for rain gutters or some kind of drain. Didn't quite finish getting raked all this out, but you'll be able to go down there even in the crawl space. It'll be fine. He's supposed to come tomorrow. Got all the wood moved. Some of them we were able to move with the tractor. Had to carry some of it too. Gonna look a lot different tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come home to a floor at least. I would think it's so little, there's only however many floor joists. I don't even think you're gonna need a ladder to reach them across. But foundation came out really good. I was really happy. Really glad I had somebody do it. It would have taken me a lot longer. This is actually a little bit shorter than it should be for frost, so some foam and some spray foam, and it's gonna be fine. But the split blocks look awesome. Just gotta get the house done. Not really done. Get a frame, get a roof on it. Um, well, this guy's supposed to start here shortly. We're gonna do the septic and we gotta get the power up here and then, I guess it can smell. Uh, it's only July though, gotta wise. Gotta get all that done before winter and then we should be able to jump back inside and keep working on it. See how much of it I do. If I have somebody come do more, I don't know. We're moving on to the next step. Didn't move the big boards yet. He doesn't need them yet, so. Got all this stuff sitting over here. A lot of brackets and such. I don't even know what they're all for. But, they're for something. So. Well, moving on. Next step is about to begin, and it should look even cooler. So after he was done, um, the framer had been waiting for him to finish, so he actually did get started the very next week. Um, and they did a good job, too. Um, I think they had it up in three weeks, um, but they were on and off. They weren't here every day, and there was only two of them. A guy and uh, his helper, he wasn't even like a, the other kid wasn't even a carpenter. He was just a 
kit. So he was basically just moving wood for the framer. Um, and that was good to have somebody else do that. The, uh, the roof up here, he had a whole scaffolding thing, and I wouldn't have to do it. No way, that's way too high for me. And he was walking on a 6 inch board. It was nuts. Uh, I definitely have a shot of that. Um, <laughs> it is so crazy how he did that. But the scaffolding was pretty solid, though. I will say that he did build a pretty good piece of scaffolding with whatever. Six two by sixes, but um, so he finished that, um, and of course they ended up sheeting it on a Friday, the roof, and it hadn't rained out I believe since the mason, he, he, the mason maybe got rained out one day, and it didn't rain the entire time through framing, until we put the sheeting on the roof, and of course it rained that weekend, and the roofer couldn't make it until the Friday of that week. Um, so it got rained on a few times and then we were like, all right, we got to get a tarp. We tarped it and then it came up the next day. Because it didn't sound like he was going to be here on Friday, it sounded like he was going to be here the next week. So on Thursday we decided, all right, we got to tarp this thing because it looks like there's more rain coming because it had dried off. Anyways, so he came the next day, they took off the tarp and did the roof, which was great. Um, they did a fine job too. Um, there were a few things I wish they had done differently, but it is what it is. Well, it passed the inspection, so I can fill it back in and I can be done with this project. But because it's really rocky, there's so many rocks, it's going to be hard to fill in with the tractor. So I'm going to at least throw some dirt on the sides so a rock doesn't hit it and break it, and then push it on the tractor. But at least get something so it doesn't break it, hopefully. A little bit of work, but better than buying another chamber. I got some stuff filled in here, so now we're just trying to get everything with some good sandy dirt around. And then be able to, I'm going to still put some more in here once we get this hole filled in. To get something underneath the pipes good. But I got some around the chambers good. So they're not going to bounce up or anything. I don't know if that would happen filled the ends up with rocks because I'm trying to get rid of some of them. I picked up all the all the ones here in the middle and ones on side this side and on the other side there so we can at least get some scoops to start. I got lots of rocks here. It's good. I like rocks but they're a pain in the butt to work with sometimes. So they're nice and solid now you can really walk on them but Got some around the D box, and so now we're ready to get things filled in here when I get time and the truck is around. So, but really happy. It went super easy. This whole project's been really no problems. Just took a long time to get everything lined up from the inspector to the part to the excavator, you know. It was a few months project, but it's all done now. Almost done. I can't really remember what we did actually. I think that we did the deck boards. Uh, we got those done uh, because it was easier to walk around then. One post done. It's beautiful. The deck fits awesome. Hands really dirty. We started doing some of the siding. Uh, the siding still not even done today, um, for a lot of reasons. You know, the, well, the front I can't get a ladder up there, and the sides, well, it was just the coldest November we've had in like 50 years or something. So it's been kind of cold, and there's plenty of things to do inside, and the siding doesn't matter that much right now. The window trim's done. Um, that took a while itself to paint those and make all those with the PVC boards and everything. But those came out really nice. That's what, yeah, I worked on those. Those were, took a while. And the deck boards and the siding. I mean, that's definitely what I was working on September-ish. After the roof was on and everything. I got the all the lower windows 
trimmed and J channeled the corners on and the uh, water spigots that are on the side of the house I just tonight I just put on this front deck just got to do the last couple boards but I need to put in the vent for the bathroom still so just got to put that through but came out really good just as good as the front back gotta stay in the post tomorrow which is really all I want to do put the fascia boards on but I need help with that so that thing after the roof was the well and water line um, I had a well driller come in he made it to I want to say a hundred and 10 feet maybe somewhere in there um, and found nothing but salt water um, very salty nothing you you can't even nothing you could make into something else it was just salt um, which is funny because my father's house a mile down the other way is perfect well but my uncle's well on the other side is a terrible well so I guess I got the terrible side too um, so obviously the, you, there's definitely more options than wells you could have done, you know, because I'm surrounded by wetland. I'm sure I could have done something else in a well, but I live in an area with city water, so it made sense just to go to the road. The only unfortunate part is it's 1,900 feet to the road. Um, and the way I went around, it actually, we actually didn't quite make it to the road with 2,000 feet of line. We need like another probably 100 feet. So, but that's because we kind of looped around to stay out of the way of the power line. But that project was pain in the butt from the beginning. Um, it took me two weekends to dig it. Um, the first weekend we had the smaller excavator. Um, and up here at the top, we started at the house. And up here it was just so hard, um, up here on top of the hill. The ground's just super hard. Um, rock and sand and then we got down the hill and then we just hit a spring and the water was coming in so fast that just down the hill <clears throat> you know and down there you get to a point where the dirt is all clay and nothing supporting anything so now it's caving in and you have to be four feet in the ground here so it was just not fun at all um, and we left that for a weekend Came back the next weekend, had the bigger excavator, and continued our way down through there. Um, it went a little better. We definitely knew what to expect. Uh, I think that was really the only difference um, than going through the ditch. Um, and then, being that it was early October now, um, and this was the worst water I've seen in a fall, I think, ever, uh, it rained, and so we couldn't fill it in with our loader, so, you know. I could have dug a lot more, but I have to fill in behind us, and I didn't even fill it all in at the time um, because I wanted to get as much of it in as I could. So we just kept digging, you know. So now we got a water line in a ditch that's full of water. That was there for two months. That was nice. Um, but what are you going to do? When you don't have machines and you have to rent it, you can only do what you can do when you got the machine. When we also were doing the water line the first time, we put in the propane tank. Um, just put in a big propane tank, a thousand gallons. Um, I've never been used that much in a year, but I want to make sure that I can go a year and get it filled up in the summertime so I don't have to get a truck back here in the winter time. Not that the road's that bad, it's fairly flat in the direction that I actually come in here. The way that we brought the utilities is a big hill, but the other direction's not that bad but it's going to be better to have a big tank. They can come once a year, fill it up for me, and that's that. <coughs> and it's propane, not natural gas or anything, just propane. At the same time, we were doing the water line, or right around there, the uh, HVAC guys made it um, to put in the heating and air conditioning, um, put in heating and air conditioning. They were here for uh, a week, I guess. Um, that was just something that I didn't want to take the time to do looked really complicated and it wasn't really something you could really buy it really I looked at trying to buy a furnace and stuff it wasn't like it was readily available it's not like you go to Home Depot and buy a furnace um, so they just did that for me um, they did a good job um, I don't 
it's obviously not on yet, um, waiting for the power to get on, but uh, going to be on here shortly, hopefully. Um, we've just been using a little propane heater to heat it up in here and not to work. But by the time it gets to 45 in here, it's way too warm, so we're good. So the HVAC guys finished today. Uh, I don't remember if I did a walk around but upstairs before or not. Yeah. So this is a return air up here in the top. And then the air that's coming in. So I don't know what that one. Air coming in. I finished the little walls up here. So that way we didn't cut through the top plate of the wall. Um, so I'm just bringing out these four inches. Um, on both sides not over there because there's no way to get anything up over there so that side is gonna just be what it is but hopefully it's all little enough that it's okay we got all the vents down here two in this big area and then one in the bathroom in the laundry room and then this big um, that's also a return air so those look pretty good though and then outside they got the air conditioner all finished today. Just got to put on this piece here. Um, I got to finish it with the siding there or something. So. But this is all hooked up. Looks good. Um, got to get a cover for this. So it's not in the weather anymore than it needs to be. I take it downstairs, but I don't have any lights set up right now. So it's too dark down there. But it looks really good down there. They got all the ducks going. and. So after the HVAC guys finished up, which was about early November, um, we had to do the electrical, and then we could do the insulation, obviously. Uh, I had somebody give me a name of someone local um, who does stuff on the side, and me and him did all the electrical. Uh, he's a nice guy, helped me out, um, rather than going through a company. Um, he, had, he knew the inspector, I mean, he works, he's an electrician, that's what he does, but he does stuff on the side. So he just came out a couple, I think two weekends when he did it in here. Uh, that went fine. Uh, obviously that's still knocked up, but it's ready to go. Um, when we do get ready, he gets back here. Um, obviously we're in the holidays right now, so he's been busy, but when he gets back here, we'll get it all going. Um, and then um, Cable and Ethan and I ran a lot of those too, so I did that myself as well. Around the same time in November, we were really getting close with National Grid on finally getting a date set for the power. Uh, I have a lot, I'm gonna have a lot of videos on the power. Uh, it, well, it took a week, I wasn't, it took a week off from work. Uh, I had the excavator and a skid steer here for a week. Uh, well, actually 10 days. And it was an insane project. Um, we kind of knew that from the beginning. National Grid was of no help in any shape or form through the whole process. Um, I definitely hope to make some videos on this because there really isn't a lot out there. And it's just such a pain in the butt. Anything from the normal 100 feet off the road and it's just like, what do you want to do? Because it's just crazy. But we finally got a date set with them. And it ended up... After we got the trench dug and they finished their baloney, um, and the guys came out to actually put in the wire, it went just fine. Uh, it's kind of the thing. Once you get to the people that are normal people and not people that are to the book, it's fine. But when you got the book geniuses out here, it's like, well, well, well. It's like, guess what? This person doesn't care what happens when it goes in the trench. So. And also, at the same time, we ran cable up here. Um, you, it's dumb not to. Um, obviously, it still costs quite a bit to get that in here, too, as far as I'm concerned, for cable. But today's day and age, you need internet. And internet is not good enough over satellite still. Um, it is if you don't want to have Netflix and stuff, and you can just bear with the minimums. But everybody uses more than that, so you got to run cable. So we did that as well, <clears throat> and that was the uh, first week in December that we did that. It was a mess. 
we had quite a bit of snow and the snow melted and then rain and this and that and the road was a disaster from when we put the water line in because you know we're only where the water line and power line came up it was only whatever 20 feet wide in a couple spots so that's pretty tight not even that 15 feet wide just big enough for a truck um, but that was all done and that was good um, the power line is it just needed to get connected at the at their transformer at my meter pad and the house the wires all on the ground though, so that's why we're just waiting for everybody to get here to connect it all, and then the power can come on, which will be definitely awesome. Same with the cable, cables all the way into the house. Um, just need to call them and have them hook it up. The same week, the power company was here. The spray foam guys, of course, showed up that day. You know, you didn't have enough things going on. You wanted one more thing going on, uh, and they did a fine job as well. Um, I don't, I've never been in any other house that have been spray foam, so I can't tell you if it was good or bad, but it looked fine to me. Um, I was happy to have it done with spray foam. I didn't have to do it, and I think it's the best way to go. You know, everybody's got their arguments on that. So once everything was done with that, so now the house was ready to do, basically it got it inspected after the spray foam, and it's up to me to finish it. Obviously, I could have some people do some stuff, but there's really nothing left to do. I'm doing tile in the bathroom, on the shower right now. Um, tiles in the bottom floor. Um, I gotta do the ceilings. Um, the sheet rack's all up, hung anyways. It's not finished um, muddied and stuff yet, but that's coming right along. Um, and I have the ceiling ordered. Um, pine tongue and groove um, that shouldn't take too long to get hung up because I got it with the end match and everything I think it's gonna be better with a pre-finished um, just because it's gonna be finished on both sides um, and I don't have to do it I mean it was gonna take a long time I don't forget how many linear feet 2400 linear feet I, mean, I don't think that's really a ton but it's definitely a lot <coughs> it's definitely a lot so that's pretty much it um, as far as up to date today, I think. There's still a lot to do. There's still a lot of things to do outside and inside. Um, it's coming right along though. The biggest thing was the utilities. I mean, that was definitely a big part of this fall. Um, the power was nuts. The water line wasn't any better. Would have been better if the well had worked out, but that is what it is. It's going to be better than editing videos from June and July, which I don't feel like editing. So we're going to jump to now.